Hey Magic Scroll users, here's a fairly simple trick that can actually be surprisingly powerful. A camera mounted teleprompter that is placed fairly close to the talent makes it easier for talent to see, but can also lead to visible eye movement left and right as they read. Typically, the camera lens will be placed center behind your prompting glass and under the shroud, but if the text fills the prompting screen, you will see the talent's eyes shifting slightly left and right. Of course, the further you are from the talent, the less obvious this is. For those times that you really must be close, using the margin controls in Magic Scope can practically eliminate eye movement. But before you begin altering margins, there's one specific video output setting that needs to be adjusted. So after you've launched Magic Skull as you would normally, open the video output preferences and review your settings. This option down here gives you a choice between size to fit or actual size. As a reminder, size to fit continually adjusts your output text so that it fully fits to the size of your output screen. And as you might guess, this is a problem if you're trying to shrink your text and not fill the screen left to right. So when using this margins trick, you'll need to set your video output so that it is actual size. Now, depending on what font size you're already using and what your margins are already, you may find that the output suddenly shrinks or gets too big. So the first thing to do is to adjust your document so that it looks normal meaning adjust the font size and the margins so that it's big enough to fill the screen just like you would prompt normally. In this example, we've recreated our document fonts and margins so that it looks nearly identical to how it appeared using size to fit. Now here's where the fun begins. You can follow these steps to adjust your text so that it lies directly over the lens. First, select all of your text. Then, reduce the size significantly maybe half the point size that you've been using. Now, with all the text still selected, click on the left margin at the top of the document window and drag it to the right, releasing it at about the point of the edge of the lens that's behind your two-way mirror. Then, with all of the text still selected, drag the far right margin indicator to the left and likewise, releasing it at the right side of what would be the lens behind your mirror. After you've done this, you can play with these settings to fine-tune the text if it needs to shift one way or another or possibly needs to be bigger or smaller. As a matter of fact, it may not actually need to fit exactly over that lens, but adjusting the settings so that it shortens the margins from left to right will reduce the eye movement of your talent. There are other situations where this may be helpful. As an example, perhaps the camera lens needs to be placed to one side or another behind the beam splitter rather than directly in the middle. This might be a situation where the lens shroud is getting in the way of another camera shot and a little shifting of the prompting unit could help. As you can see in this example, the lens is to the far left and we've shifted the text to accommodate. Magic Scroll is unique in this feature and we believe using it can really help you make your talent shine and not look like they're reading.